Hi everybody, hope you had a lovely time celebrating VE Day on Friday. It was lovely to see all the decorations you've done for your houses and all the baking you've been doing. So please keep sharing all your hard work on Padlet. I'm so, so proud of all of you. Do you remember the very first story we read together at home? It was our favourite, The Day the Crayons Quit. So I thought today I would read for you The Day the Crayons Came Home. Now we've read this one at school as well, so you might remember it and all the adventures that some other crayons have been on. So are you ready? For the day the crayons came home. One day, Duncan and his friends were happily colouring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only coloured with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me in the couch two years ago. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come and get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned friend, Maroon Crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the colour pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, the crayon formerly known as P. Green. Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great holiday we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly, you do not because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months of waiting for you to come and get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Duncan, it says yellow and orange. Do you remember yellow and orange from the other story that we read when the crayons had quit? We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real colour of the sun? Hot, that's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the colour of the sun for a week here. Just please bring us home. You're not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. Hey Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognise me after the horrors I have been through. I think I was tan crayon? Or maybe burnt sienna? I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan, and it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your indigestible friend, Tan. Or possibly burnt sienna crayon. Dear Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. And there he is down there waiting for someone to come and open the door. Hi Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs. Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come and get me. I'm kind of, of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark crayon. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada and France, I think. Just crossing Newcastle. By camel now. Newcastle has giant pyramids, right? Does Newcastle have giant pyramids? Maybe you could tell your mums and dads where you think Neon Red Crayon actually is in this part of the story. See you soon, Neon Red Crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Duncan. Does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you it'd make me blunt if you coloured each coin individually, but would you listen? No. 
I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now I can't colour anything at all. Your pointless friend, gold crayon. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's raining. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Hi Duncan, you're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come and get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's been washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Uh, dear Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him any more. In the last week alone, he's bitten off the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall and tried to colour rubbish with me. The worst part is, he's a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please, please rescue me. Your desperate friend, big chunky toddler crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Does this look like the Amazon rainforest to you? Hmm, I'm not sure. Making great time, I think I'm almost home. Neon red crayon. Hello Duncan, it's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great colouring jobs. Chocolate, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you used me to colour, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did you really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please let's stick to chocolate, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, brown crayon. Duncan was so sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and, damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. There's no dogs down here, are there? Nope, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Let's have a party, says White Crayon. You can't quite see him, just down the bottom. But it's really not blue, more lilac. This one is from my blue period. I think that door is for us, says the orange and yellow crayon. Ah, there you are. I could do with a haircut. He's talking to the sharpener over here. Hope that isn't a met there isn't a metal detector. I think everyone is welcome. Looks good, lads. Who are you wearing? Oh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted, says the sock. Make sure it's straight, says purple crayon. And then... In Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. He's finally made it back, Neon Red Crayon, after his adventures all over the world. I hope you enjoyed The Day the Crayons Came Home, so we've now read both of them. The Day the Crayons Quit, and they're now back home. Okay, I hope to read to you again next week and see you all very, very soon. Missing you all. Bye-bye.